Hello students, let's talk about the melody for Bow Wow Wow. Now that we've learned it and we've kind of sang through it, let's kind of break down the melody. So here I have our melody. Remember, a melody is when we take our pitches or notes and our rhythm and we put them together to create the part of the song that we recognize. And the part we recognize for the song is the Bow Wow Wow, Who's Dog Art Thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, bow, wow, wow. That's our melody for bow, wow, wow. You notice on the side there, I have a colored number four and a colored uh, quarter note that is flipped upside down. Um, that shows us our meter. Our meter is when we organize our beats into measures. So that tells us that we need four beats in every measure and our quarter note is the beat. Again, four beats in every measure with our quarter note as the beat. All right now with this melody, you notice that I also have a purple bracket on that second line there on our staff and that shows us our home tone. Keep in mind our home tone will be do and it will most likely always be do for most of our songs. All right. With that being said, our first note in our melody, or the word bow, what solfege would it be? It would be do. And remember, do is the shape of our ball, kind of towards, and we kind of place it near our belly button. All right. Now, with the melody moving, it actually just repeats for the next three notes, meaning we stay on do. And we have our quarter rest. But the melody moves up when we get to whose dog art thou. It moves up in a skip. Right? So with that being said, our do is now moving into a different sofesh or our mi. Mi is the flat hand that's just kind of moving up towards your chest a little bit. Again, it repeats, so all of our solfege for that measure is me besides our quarter rest. Next measure, we skip up a line once again. So if we're going up from me, what solfege should we land on? We would land on so. Right? So is kind of the uh, hand open, you are seeing your palm, and it's kind of towards mouth level almost. Right? Then, instead of a skip, we have a step. So it is stepping up from the line into the space. When we move from so up a little bit, what sofage do we get to? We get to the la sofage. And la looks like our C that was tipped over. Then we step back down to our so again. Now we're skipping down. Instead of skipping up, we're skipping down. So from so, we skip down to me. And from me, we skip down one more time to do, our home tone. We are going to skip back up, putting us back at me. Then we have that solfege that we learned last time. Now, me looks like the flat hand, and this solfege looks like it has slid down a little bit. Do you remember what the solfege name is? It would be Ray. So, me is a flat hand, but Ray kind of looks like it's sliding down towards do, which it does for our last note, bring us back to our home tone. Can you try to sing the song with me on solfege? So if this is do, can you sing it on solfege with me? One, two, here we go. Do, 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 rest. Me, 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 me. 
rest. So, 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 la, so, mi, do, mi, re, do. Now, if that was too easy for you, try it with singing on solfege and showing the hand signs. Let's see if you can do that. Do is your note, one, two, here you go. Do, do, do. Mi, 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 mi. So, 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 la, so, mi, do, mi, re, do. Did you do it? All right, good work.